So this is the storage area for my slide archive, these two cabinets. And there used to be like six or eight of these cabinets. I'm now down to two. I did a big purge a few years ago. And uh, this is what it looks like now. And now I'm going to digitize all these and go through the process of how I do that. Here's our light table. And one of the biggest tasks is not so much the scanning part of it, but the organizational part of it. How you organize all these pictures to, um, to keep all the information about the pictures access accessible. So what we're going to do first is de-sleeve them all. And the main task here is to um, get everything in order so I can get the information back on them. Now I have these in the sleeves in sequence. I have them all numbered and captioned already. So I've got all that information there. So I'm going to take all these out. I mean, this is the, this is the, the tedious part of the process is all this handling of it all. So there's always a few of these that have my old stock agency stickers on them covering up my file information. I've got to peel that off. Um, these slides back in the olden days, 20 years ago, were a valuable commodity. That's how I made my living as a stock photographer. And I was pretty successful enough to be able to basically travel the world and take pictures and make a living doing that. It was a brief interval before the industry changed and became more production oriented when a guy like me could photograph his life as it went by. And uh, it was my, sort of my peak earning years as a photographer. So I have these remnants of that in the files. That was back in the days when it was a rights managed uh, sales model, which no longer exists. In fact, Getty just recently completely got rid of its rights models pictures and took me out of the running entirely. Um, so pictures once sold for thousands of dollars sometimes. And now I get sales statements on my stock sales of like a dollar, a dollar fifty is a big sale now. <laughs> it's kind of the spotification of photography. So we've got all these nice piles of slides. And we'll take them over to my duping setup, which is a Bessler copy slide duplicator. Back in the day, this was the state of the art for duplicating slides. And I use it now for, um, for this. It's a great setup. I got a camera set up here and I've got a laptop, which I capture on and a drive that it goes on to. So the first thing I'll do is blow out any dust that might be on the screen there, because that will show up. Then put my slides there. Okay, so what this looks like on here, slide goes in, I open up the live view shoot, and this is where I'll check my focus in my, well, let's get a brighter image so that I can actually see what's going on. There we go. And make sure that everything is lined up right and that everything's in focus. So this is the, this is the Canon uh, software for shooting, tethered shooting on the laptop. And so this is at 10x and I can uh, change my focus here get it just there's the grain that I'm looking for okay and back to 1x and make sure I'm capturing the whole frame yes all the edges are there and they look pretty parallel let's get a brighter image so I can really see what's going on with the edges there there we go. Yeah, I can see I'm a little off square, which I can adjust here. There. Everything's nice and lined up. Let's resequence those. And this is so bright, I wear sunglasses so I can see it. 
Okay. I have this color balance to daylight so that it's easy in the... Um, there we go. And I just pop them in. This is the fastest part of the process right here. I'm going to whip through this pile in no time. These, And I am not spending any attention to like get rid of dust spots on every slide like that. This is, this is bulk scanning for the purposes of archiving. If I want to go back and really get a big scan of one of these, I'll put, put one of these in the film scanner and get a different, different version. But the quality is actually really similar. It's not that these, this is really a completely adequate way to scan your collection. So the next thing I'm going to do is rename all these images. And the way I do that is I have a light table here with the slides and I've got everything there. So I reconcile the number on the, the caption on the slide itself and um, make the same number on the screen look be the same number. I'm a little OCD on organization on this stuff. This was my livelihood once upon a time to track all these images and that habit is still there. So here I've renamed everything and now I'm going to select it all and open it up in camera raw. I shot all these in raw format so that it, I have total flexibility in modifying them. So um, this is what it looks like when they're loaded. Um, various things and I have a preset loaded. I can select all the images. I can go over here, load settings, and I have under settings the slide dupe Bessler 5200. Um, there and there you can see how it's changed everything. All these images now have the same, um, same, same, you know, treatment approached. And you can see I, what I've done here, I've got a tone curve uh, that's specific to every channel that I've adjusted slightly. On all the channels you can see over here and so those and I've got adjustments in the um, color temperature and the exposure uh, actually I've learned since I've made that I have made this too green so I'm gonna just bring this up to zero on the tint uh, just because I know that's off actually it's a little it can bring a little magenta in there and everything else is still the same so what I'm gonna do now is from the very top see if there's any adjustments I want to make uh, individually so I'm just gonna go through like I you know, I can do what I can't do on the slide film. I can actually adjust the um, specifics of each individual image and um, change what it looks like, which is pretty cool. I now have the best of both worlds. I've got, um, you know, raw functionality to look. I can open up those shadows in the trees there. I can bring down the color a little bit so it's a bit more normal looking. So I, I'll just go through and do a quick global adjustments of all this stuff. And I won't spend a lot of time on it because I can always go back and do this later. Um, but I can make, you know, fix all the mistakes you make on slide film because slide film is so unforgiving. Um, and this is a little blockier than when you do, do, when you do photograph these things. They do get a little blockier and they're going to need some adjustment. Um, so that's what I've got here. I'm going to go through and, and process all those. And I'll be back when I'm done. So I have all my slides here in Bridge that I shot. And what I'm going to do now is enter metadata. I have a global metadata that I can add called scans, and that will add all the metadata to every image. And I can go back in and change a few settings. And I'm going to go back one by one to each of these images and copy and paste the metadata from a spreadsheet. Back in the day when I was coming back from a trip, having shot 100 rolls of film, I would laboriously make these Excel spreadsheets of every image to create a caption to put on the image. So I have all this data captured already from you know, 20 years ago when I did this. So I can just copy and paste from the spreadsheet, put it in the description field of the metadata onto the next image. And oh boy, I get a bunch here. I can copy and paste that one. I can paste it to all these images at once. There we go. And so I'm just going to go through here and um, put all the data in here. And the point of this is that an image is of no good to you if you can't find it or you don't know what you have. And this is just adding information so you can organize and find stuff. Um, this archive will eventually end up in Lightroom where I can 
apply keywords and do searches and really have a robust um, catalog catalog of my entire scan archive, which is just even better than having it in the physical files back in the office there. Um, so this makes the work available, accessible, and um, gives it another life. And here I'll do a quick slideshow of um, what we have here of our pictures of the selects. Here's some of the best of England from 1997.